Welcome back. Providing love, a sense of security, warmth and comfort, something a blanket can provide, and you have a chance tomorrow to help make some for a good cause. This afternoon, Billy is with us to tell us more about the project Linus you're involved with. Uh, quilt making, and then you, you give them to, to people that for different reasons. Uh, tell me what Project Linus does. Project Linus, um, we want homemade blankets. You can either knit them, crochet them, um, quilted like these, or the young kids make fleece blankets. And then we give them to children that need, are in need, like if um, children's services we take them to, we take them to hospitals, we've um, taken them to soldiers, families that's been deployed, or someone, are, I've taken them to schools too where they've had a, a school teacher died or something and they just need blankets to put around them. That's a sweet thing you do. So Project Linus is a national organization and we have a local chapter here? Yes, we've started 2005 and we've delivered over 19,000 blankets since then. Locally? Yes, just locally. So the, the national organization, what's the history behind that? How long has it been around? 1995 and we've delivered over nine million blankets That's countrywide. Fantastic. And Canada is also has three, there's 300 chapters. So how, do, how does Project Linus, your organization, how do you hear about a child in need? Do you uh, have regular stops for people at the hospitals, the children's hospitals, the people at Lucas County Children's Services? How does that come around? Well, children's services, I call them once a month and I say, do you need blankets? And they'll say yes or no. Um, and I, um, Toledo Hospital and St. Vincent's will call me up and say they need blankets. Or I'll call them if I have abundance of blankets, I'll call and say, hey, I need, I have some blankets, you need them, and they'll call me up and, and they'll say yes or no. How long have you been uh, making quilts yourself? Have you always been uh, quilts? Probably 20 years. Okay, I was gonna ask if you learned as a child, sometimes you learn from a grandmother or yes. a mother as you're growing up and see her make quilts. My grandmother made beautiful quilts and I still have one that she made and she's been deceased for probably 40 years. So it's- They last very, forever. They do and they're very special to me as well. So the whole concept of it is that we all feel that blankets, quilts are comforting if we're in an emotional need? Yes, yes. That's the one thing is, I mean, like if you get, you know, you feel sick, what do you do? You know, you take a blanket, you wrap it around you and then you lay on the couch and watch TV, <laughs> so. So here's, here's a video from an event where your people were making mm -hmm. quilts. How many come out, or how many people in the organization locally? Um, you know, I have like, um, we meet once a month on a, the first Friday of the month, and I average between 15 and children, 15 and 20 people each month. But I have people that never, um, they just make blankets and they deliver them at different, um, at, um, different places, or they call me up and I pick them up. That's beautiful. So if people want to learn more about Project Linus, what can they do? And tell us more about this event tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll make, um, I'm hoping to make quite a few blankets. Um, we're going to be at Living Faith, my, uh, my church. Um, we'll be there from 10 to 2. Um, we'll pro provide a light lunch. Um, we'll be making blankets. Each blanket has a, um, a label on it. So a lot of times some of the women will um, put the labels on the blankets and that. And um, anybody, you don't have to know how to sew to help us. You know, you can knit, you can crochet, or you can just help do different stuff that we need to be done. Well, you're doing some great things. Thanks for all you do. And thanks for coming in and telling us about Project Linus. Charlie Brown would be very, very proud of you. Yes, yes. We, we have to, every year we have to get the okay with Schultz family. <laughs> oh, really? That's yes. great. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Billy, for coming Thank in. Thank you.